Welcome to Davos, where one of the countries which is dramatically being affected by the recession is Thailand. And I'm joined by the Thai Prime Minister, uh, Abhishek Veiva. Welcome to BBC World News, Prime Minister. We're speaking as around 8,000 protesters are gathering in Bangkok, yet you've said here the mood of the Thai people is turning against opposition protests. Why do you say that? Because I think Thai people want the country to move beyond the old divisions. They know the challenges ahead of us in terms of the economic troubles. Uh, they want the government to do its job. And I think that's reflected through the by-election results and uh, clearly by the vote of parliament now to, to move things forward. You've been in office just over a month. Are you saying that you believe you're a symbol of change? I am saying that uh, the country has now turned the corner. Uh, what from, do you mean by that? By, by the fact that uh, by the, at the end of last year we had a barely functioning government. Uh, the last month we've seen a new government put in place that has managed now to put things back to normal in terms of being able to host the ASEAN summit, getting all the agreements through parliament, getting, getting a stimulus package put together and passed the first reading of parliament. Yet there are still protests and there is that ghost of your predecessors still haunting the political system. There will always be political differences and the difference between this year and last year is that we will make sure that uh, the, the differences are contained within the frame of the law and the constitution. Yet you also have this other major challenge of your economy going into a spiral, the world economy affecting you and your credibility as Prime Minister. How much is this as much a risk for you now? Well, it's only to be expected that an open economy like Thailand's uh, would, would suffer from a drop in exports and, and, and tourism, and the numbers were bad in the last quarter of last year. Uh, but what we've quickly put in place is a package that will sustain domestic demand through the first three quarters of this year and uh, we're watching the situation very closely and I'm here not just to take a message about how things have changed in Thailand but also urging all the major economies not to resort to protectionism, get their acts together quickly so that the global economy can, can move forward. But here you are believing that the mood is, is turning in your favour, yet the world economy is turning against you. Could it be there will be different reasons now for people to take to the streets? Sure. Because uh, here one of the big uh, echoes is what the fear of social instability everywhere in the world. Yes, and uh, one, of, one, of the, one of the things that uh, a lot of people are being reminded at, at Davos is that uh, the, the, the immediate financial problems uh, shouldn't make us lose sight of the need to make sure that the development process continues and that emerging markets still uh, have the opportunities to, uh, for their people. But people are going to look to you to guarantee their jobs and we know many people are losing their jobs, particularly in the well, export business. The way, business. The way uh, I'm approaching the problem, first of all, I, I'm, I'm very open with the people. I tell them exactly what's happening, not just in Thailand, but, but in the world. So they know what situation uh, we are faced with and uh, telling them what we're doing for them. Uh, obviously, as in any country, when there are economic difficulties, it becomes a political problem. But uh, with the program that we've put in place, with a special emphasis on the poor and the less fortunate in our society, I hope that will uh, uh, enable us to, uh, to go through this crisis without social disruptions. Just as in, in 97, when we were last in government, uh, we went through a very painful process, but no social or political disruptions. Well, a bit like Sweden, you went, you've been through something like this before, and you've said here today, that was not easy. It was much more complicated. Is this going to be even more complicated, or does that experience mean you have a better chance of knowing what needs to be done? Well, there are a number of lessons that I hope that uh, the, the, the economy is facing the problems now will have learnt. Uh, particularly the need to pay attention to the real sector, uh, to the fact that uh, just cleaning up the financial institutions uh, does not automatically lead, lead to a resumption of lending, and that uh, you know you have to have a good coordinated strategy this time around, especially when there are there appears to be no economies immune from the from the crisis. The Japanese Prime Minister Taro Aso has announced this morning $17 billion in Japanese aid for infrastructure across Asia. How much will that impact you directly in Thailand and also because of the knock-on multiplier effects around the region? It will be very helpful and uh, we are pleased that uh, Japan is, has taken this role. I will be in Tokyo next week, so I will explore the possible bilateral 
cooperation and for us to benefit from this program. Finally, can I ask you, news uh, as we've just been speaking, Prime Minister, about uh, the release of Rohingya migrants being held in uh, detention in uh, the southern Nainong province. Um, the, these are adult uh, Muslim migrants. What position are you taking on this rather delicate issue now as the new Prime Minister? We, we treat them as um, illegal migrant workers and uh, we, we, will, um, we will repatriate them and we will we'll make sure that the, their rights are respected. I think this, this latest uh, uh, group uh, actually were going to be repatriated a few days ago, but I learned that they were in bad health, so I have uh, asked them to be, uh, continue to be detained and then sent to hospital for treatment. That's the approach we'll take. You face this massive problem of those trying to enter your country illegally, looking for a better life, yes. when actually life is getting rather difficult in Thailand for particularly the poorer Thai. How do you resolve this contradiction? We hope to uh, uh, engage all the parties that should be involved in this. Uh, we've had discussions with UNHCR. We hope to bring some kind of regional cooperation, Bangladesh, India, Myanmar, into the equation so that this problem can be tackled at the source. Finally, Prime Minister, you've been in office just over a month. Uh, what pressures will there be on you which mean that maybe in a year from now your position is as precarious as your predecessors? I think to me the biggest risk now is, is the economy. I think uh, it is the government's job to make sure that we, we can get through this crisis. And obviously if we don't perform, if we don't deliver, there's always going to be political risk. Prime Minister, thank you very much indeed. The Prime Minister of Thailand there, underlining the big dangers now for the emerging countries, even the big emerging economies like Thailand. Back to you.